Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're looking at Tarkov's most straightforward 556 weapon, the MDR. You can buy a regular MDR from Peacekeeper 3, but as this costs over $1000, it's almost always better to get one from the flea market. In its default configuration, it comes with 75 ergonomics and 71 recoil, with a nice inherent recoil profile that allows it to be used fairly comfortably even at stock. Vertically, this is similar to the SCAR, so top tier in that regard. The lowest recoil that you can technically get on it is 55, using the RK2 and the Silencer Co. ASR Brake and Suppressor combo, but this is entirely pointless. It does show up the limited modding for the MDR itself though, which is both a blessing and a curse. As a ballpup, because the standard recoil is so low already, additional mods don't really do much to it, and there are very limited changes you can make in the first place. The great thing about this is it doesn't matter what you do to the MDR, it remains strong anyway. Check out the difference here between an unmodded MDR with 71 recoil, I just bought it from the flea directly, against a version with a Magpul foregrip and a Surefire Monster Suppressor with SF3P muzzle brake with 62 recoil, only 7 over the absolute best possible. As you can see, they are practically identical for all intents and purposes. What about ADS speed though? The regular Surefire Monster that I bought here, because it was the cheapest 556 suppressor at the time, is relatively decent as far as suppressors go for ergonomics. But this is nothing compared to the Mini Monster that we kind of need to use on the SCAR or the Org to make them handle well because of their low ergo base. That said, minus 17 of the regular monster versus minus 24 of the Silencer Co is still alright, but even at 65 ergo we only add one frame to our ADS speed from 6 frames to 7. In short, it's practically impossible to get the MDR wrong. For those of you who want to gear up quickly and not think about it too much, once you get to M856A1 ammo from Peacekeeper's The Cult Part 1 quest, you can just add a grip, a sight, suppressor and tactical device super easily and head off into raid with very little messing about. Another benefit to the MDR is, again, due to the high ergonomics of the weapon, you can take larger mags without worrying too much about killing its handling. I really like 40 rounders if they are a little awkward due to the restrictions that they place on your rigs, but there are a few choices these days such as the TV-110, the Strandhog and the new Banshee Armoured Rig. For regular rigs you could use the CSA or the ANA Tactical Alpha to pair it with a normal armoured vest depending on how much stuff you want to bring with you. How I feel about the MDR overall is that it sits right in the centre of all the other weapons on a relative basis within 556. With its slower fire rate at 650 RPM at the bottom end of the calibre, this helps the controllability on par with the SCAR and the AUG, which are both amazing in this regard. It doesn't get the horizontal recoil that is the SCAR's unique benefit, but it's decent enough, way better than the AUG's horizontal, which is super wild as we saw in the last video, and it massively outperforms both on ergonomics at the same price point. And this is the key point about the MDR. At this point in the wipe, it's very hard to beat it for the money. The AK-101 can get really good, but you usually have to spend more in total through modding. Same goes with the M4 and the HK. The MDR is a super solid performer and keeps me coming back time and time again in the mid game when I just need to throw on a kit to go again. Let's just quickly run through the benefits of M856A1 ammunition, which is really what you should be using with this gun versus the equivalent 545 ammo. Against class 3, PP, BP and BT's time to kill versus all class 3 armors is 3 thorax shots, simply due to a combination of low initial damage and some armor mitigation, whereas 56A1 will kill in 2 hits up to around 50 meters. Against the class 4 trooper, 56A1 still kills on shot 3 most of the time, which is almost the same as BT, but PP and BP are most likely around shots 4 and 5 instead. This is still true against lower tier armors like the Rat Rig because class 4 absorbs enough damage to stop you from killing any quicker. If you did want to use 56A1 earlier than completing Peacekeeper's quest lines, you can craft some in the workbench level 2. Currently this costs about 520 rubles per round, so similar to the trader, and it could work as an overnight craft once you reach the required hideout progression, which is a minimum of level 20. So next up, let's check out how the MDR felt in a few raids. So we're in some random clothing shop. Can you get out of this door?
Maybe we go up this ramp here. I came in with a red dot so that I couldn't, uh, I didn't have to deal with picture in picture. But, um, I'm now, I'm now suffering for that. But whatever. Is that someone above? Guess it's a scav. Is that an MDR? It is. Yeah, scav. Oh god, I'm pinned. Where'd our friend go? No idea people spawn so close to each other. It's so crazy. Oh, I thought I was going to die to desync there. I was like, we just got to do it. Oh. I think ammo right now is more important than fixing everything. Well, at least it was a scav. Otherwise, that would have been quite embarrassing, I think, if that had been a player. So we still have a break, which is kind of awkward. Let's have a look at this. Oh! Excellent. What is it then? It is a TX-15, look at that. Probably better off with this on, aren't I? Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a TK Fast MT. Am I better off with my old one? I feel like maybe I am. Now I've got to find his bag. Well, I guess it's probably up here somewhere. It's fine, you know what, it, it's fine. We only just started the raid, so... And we got into this firefight, like, almost immediately. We can go to Klimov, or we can try and complete the quest. These are the bits I don't really like about the streets, where you're just stuck out on the street. Here we go. Right, let's have a look at what's in here. Maybe we just try and extract. With the stuff. Maybe we do. Especially if we get quite heavy. Also, I just kind of want to play streets. I'm not like mega, mega, mega fussed about completing all the quests as soon as I physically can to then never play Streets of Tarkov again. You know what I mean? Like, I just kind of want to play the map. There's in-raid XP. There's in-raid rep. <clears throat> but then there's also, you know, there's our own, our own skill and reputation. That makes sense. Oh yeah, plus we have a break too. If we just continue on with like a break in our hand and then lose a firefight that we should have won. That'll feel kind of stupid. Whoa. Is that sniper scavs? Signal area. Go. 
go, 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 go. Let's hope it worked. <laughs> I think it's fun. I quite like this extract. One of my favourites. Next up, go and check out my video on the org as another interesting addition to 556. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons. Hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video. And as always, have fun in your raids.